Yes, Mom, I've got it. What's that? Hmm. Oh, yes. The ticket he told me about. Well, let's see what he has to say. Here's the latest on my broken ankle. Doc says I'll be all right, only I have to stay off my feet for a week or so. Anyway, here's the ticket for the high teen carnival. It's too late to turn it in, so you have yourself a time and tell me all about it. One couple. That means a date. Not like just going around with the crowd. Just me and the girl. Well, that's all right. Only, what girl? Who? How do you choose a date? Whose company would you enjoy? Well, one thing you can consider is looks. Woody thought of Janice and how good-looking she was. He'd really have to rate to date somebody like her. Yes, he'd enjoy that. Except, well, it's too bad Janice always acts so superior and bored. She'd make a fellow feel awkward and inferior. Well, perhaps someone who doesn't feel superior. There's Betty. And yet, it just doesn't seem as if she'd be much fun. What about Anne? She knows how to have a good time, and how to make the fellow with her relax, have fun too. Yes, that's what a boy likes. He wants to know he's appreciated. Anne would be fun on a date. So Woody decided he'd ask Anne for this first date. But just how should he ask her? And what if she refused? No, it won't be easy asking for that first date. Well, Woody, hi. Hi, Ed. What you doing? Just thinking. Don't work too hard. Ed, is this private? No, stick around if you like. Well, hello, Edward. I thought I heard you come in. Hi, Mom. What's for supper? Oh, Mom, is it all right with you if I have a date Saturday night? Well, of course. You generally go out on Saturdays. Uh, hello. May I speak to Mary, please? But, Mom, this is different. A date. I, well, I haven't asked her yet, but I'd like to take Aunt Davis to the high teen carnival. Oh, Anne's a nice girl, but... A date? Well, you're rather young. Oh, Mom, give him a break. I think he can swing it. We all have to start sometime. Well, if you don't overdo on dating, Ed knows what I mean. Weekends only and not too late. Thanks, Thanks Mary. Mom. I just call up to check on the night. I think I can get by a little earlier than usual. How 7.30? All right, Mary. Bye now. Boy, you sure make it sound easy. How do you do it? Practice, my boy. Experience. But I don't think I'll know what to say. What to talk about. Now, don't worry about that. Just be your natural, talkative old self. Come on, let's see what's for supper. Wait a second. Oh, Mom, is the floor dry yet? Yes, you can come in. Hello, M Mrs. Davis. This is Woody. Uh, I mean, Alan Woodruff. M may I speak to Anne? How do you ask for a date? What about this? Uh, Anne? Well, uh, how about a date? Uh, well, I mean... Well, really? No thanks, Woody. 
Hmm. Well, suppose he did it this way. Hi, uh, Ann. What you doing Saturday night? Well, I... I guess I'm busy. Oh, yeah? Any chance of giving him the brush off for me? Well, of all the nerve! Well, is there another way? Ann? This is Woody. Well, I have a ticket for the high team carnival Saturday, and... Well, would you like to go? Why, yes, Woody. I'll have to talk to my folks about it. But I think I can go. That would be fun. Yeah. Well, shall I pick you up about 8 o'clock? That's fine, Woody. 8 o'clock Saturday. I think it'll be all right, but I'll let you know for sure. Bye. A date with Woody. Saturday. <laughs> Come in. Hi, Anne. Hi, Judy. What are you doing? Why aren't you being crystal, little sister? I'm getting ready for my day tonight with Woody. Oh, he's nice. A date, huh? What'll you do? Go to some fancy place for dinner? No, silly. We're going to the high teen carnival. And then he'll bring me home. Oh, that doesn't sound like much. Why, well, we'd have fun at the carnival, you and I, wouldn't we? Oh, yes. Well, Woody and I are going to have fun in just that way. I think the important thing about a date is to have a good time. <laughs> you don't need to spend a lot of money to do that. You just enjoy whatever you're doing. Whether it's movies, or parties, or anything. And you leave your boyfriend enough money, so he'll ask you again. My, you'll be out late. Why not particularly late? Mom and Dad and I have an agreement about what time to come in. Look, um, will you be a honey and get my stockings from the bathroom? Sure. Mom! Mom! Do we have any cleaning fluid? There's a spot on my coat. Goodness, you know we have some. Oh, here, let me. No, no, I'll do it. That's it, son. Look your best. Your first date is mighty important. Yeah. Hey, Mom. Dad, were you excited the night of your first date? I sure was. <laughs> so was I. I took my date seriously. A date was a major event. Why, the night of my first date, <laughs> my date had a flat tire and he was an hour late. And he didn't even bother to call me. Well, when he finally came, I had to run upstairs and do my face and my hair all over again. Oh, I was so upset. That fella had a lot to learn about girls. Your mother lost all interest in him after she met me. And the moral of that story is that I should be on time tonight, right? You bet. And the same goes for Anne. Any girl who can't be ready on time for a date isn't good enough for my boy. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, go find a mirror so you can see yourself. <laughs> hi, Woody. Oh, hi. Big night, eh? Yeah. Flowers. Anne won't expect flowers, will she? Huh? Oh, I hardly think so. I'm taking these to Mary because it's a special occasion. Of course, if you want to take flowers anyway, I guess there's no law against it. But, but I don't have to, unless it's a ritzy affair. That's the general idea. Flowers for a prom or a very special party. Otherwise, you don't need to. Say, I'll have to run. Me too. See you later. I'm going, folks. All right, Ed. Have a nice time.
But when you're having so much fun, time goes all too fast. Well, it's the time Ann had set for getting home. And now, good night. The end of a perfect evening. But how do you say good night? Perhaps... Don't please. What am? Or it could go this way. Well, so long. Just like that. After all, a girl likes to know you've had a good time. So let's try saying good night again. One more way. Well, it's getting late. Yes, it is. I'd ask you in for a bite to eat if it weren't so late. Uh, let's plan to get home in time for a sandwich or something next time. Say, that sounds good. I'll call you next week. Will you? Well, thanks so much. I had loads of fun. So did I. Good night, Woody. Night, Anne.